Hello and welcome to my channel, the so-called travel expert. I have been traveling in Europe for around 20 years, first as a backpacker, then as a young couple, and now as a young family. In case you are considering visiting Europe as a tourist, one of the first questions that comes to mind is whether you join an organized group tour or whether you plan this as an individual yourself. In today's video, we will look at both these options, analyze the costs involved for both these options, so that you can make a decision on which option suits you the best. So let's start now with analyzing the pros and cons of group travel. So let us begin by looking at what is generally included in a standard package tour for a group of 20 people. The services of a travel agent or a tour company would include providing a fixed travel plan, providing any support for visa documentation if required and the airfare as well all the local travel when you are in Europe, entrance fees to the different tourist attractions at the different uh, European cities, and finally, all the food and lodging costs for your entire trip. So just as a reference, here are the quotes provided by two tour operators based in India for a 14 or a 15 night package tour through Europe. And the costs work out at around 4,100 to 4,200 euros per person. A two-week or a 14-night trip through Western Europe would usually start in London, cover eight countries and finish in Milan. While it is convenient to have everything planned for you in detail, it is important to keep these points in mind. Firstly, only the journey between London and Paris is by the high-speed Eurostar train and the rest of the tour continues by coach. You should keep in mind that the daily travel with the coach is around 500 to 600 kilometers. And secondly, because of the tight travel plans, you're only allowed a very limited time at each tourist spot. So if you wish to have more flexibility in your plans, which is either spending more time at a particular tourist attraction or traveling to a different city, which is not covered in this itinerary overall, then planning the trip yourself would be the right thing to do. So if your preferred option is to travel on your own, have a look at my previous video over here uh, for some tips on how to estimate a budget. And speaking of budgets, here is a breakdown of the cost comparison between traveling with a group tour as opposed to traveling by yourself. So let's begin by comparing the accommodation costs. The package tour companies usually provide a list of the hotels on their website. So with a quick search, I have estimated the cost per night for each of these hotels, which is summarized here on the side. As you can see, the costs add up at around 1600 euros over the 14 nights. However, this is based on two people sharing a room. Therefore, the cost per adult works out at around 800 euros. If you're planning your own travel and are considering also booking these hotels, then keep in mind that these hotels are usually at the outskirts of the city and are not well connected by public transport. So my recommendation here would be to book a hotel in the city center, which also has good public transport connections to the tourist attractions and which is also located close to the train station for onward travel onto the different cities. The hotels in the city centre tend to be slightly more expensive and you can estimate or you can budget for around 150 euros as an average per night. So for 14 nights this would add up to around 2100 euros obviously on sharing basis and per person the costs come out at around 1050 euros. So let's move on to the next theme, which is traveling between cities when you are in Europe. So on the one side for organized tours, you have the advantage of having a bus, which is at your disposal, which takes you from your hotel room onto the tourist attractions and onwards onto your next destination. And this can be very convenient for senior citizens, people with limited mobility, as well as families with young kids. On the other hand, if you're making your own travel plans and would like the freedom and flexibility, then I would highly recommend buying a Eurail Pass. For a 14-day trip through Europe, a 7-day Eurail Pass is usually sufficient and this would cost around 350 euros per adult. In addition to the Eurail Pass for intercity travel, you would also require a day pass for local city travel to take you to the tourist attractions. Now, I've made a list of the day passes for the different cities considered covered in this travel plan and this would add up to around 260 euros per person over the 14 day period. Now, Please keep in mind that if you decide on a different city, the costs may vary accordingly as well. If you are nervous and worried about making your way to the tourist attraction, then I would also suggest buying a day pass for the so-called hop on hop off bus. 
You would usually find this in large cities such as London, Paris, Berlin and Rome. The advantage of these these buses is that they keep on circling around the city uh, at the various tourist attractions all day and all you have to do is just to get off at your desired tourist uh, attraction and when you're done just hop on the bus again and onwards to the ne next tourist attraction. So now that you know how to find your way to the tourist attraction let us also look at the costs involved. So here is a summary of the entrance fees for the attractions as mentioned on the tour operator website and these sum up to around 500 euros per individual. Moving on to the next part which is the food. Here you can be relaxed if you're traveling with the tour company as all your meals will be catered for that includes breakfast, lunch and dinner and you're usually served an option of vegetarian and non-vegetarian food. Although this is well catered to, there is a possibility that you might miss out on trying out the local delicacies. If you are traveling on your own, breakfast is usually taken care of with the accommodation. As for lunch and dinner, this depends upon your preferences as an individual. If you would like to have two sit down meals, then you should estimate for around 50 euros per person per day. And that would equate to around 700 euros over the 14 day trip. However, if you just prefer to have a light lunch and a heavy dinner, these costs can come down significantly to around 30 euros per person per day. In summary, if you are planning a Europe trip on your own, you would have the upfront costs of airfare, insurance and visa, along with your accommodation, travel and food costs. And these sum up to around 3,750 euros per adult over the 14 day period. In comparison, an organized trip would cost around 4,200 euros, which gives you a direct saving of around 500 euros per adult if you were to plan this trip yourself. So that's it for this video. I hope the content in this video helps you make an informed decision on your Europe trip. And if you found this content useful, please leave a positive comment and like, share and subscribe. Thank you.